Edwards Air Force Base, Mojave Desert, California, nearly 100 miles north of Los Angeles. This is home to virtually every significant experimental aircraft ever flown. Here, secreted away in a hangar, is a revolutionary aircraft. The Air Combat Command's USAF YAL-747. It's not the speed or how high it can fly that makes it so special. It's the cargo. The world's first airborne-directed energy weapon, the Airborne Laser, also known as the ABL. Just mounting the ABL requires one of the most sophisticated and elaborate modifications in history. The entire nose section is removed and retrofitted, and the world's largest titanium plate is installed to hold the enormous turret-mounted laser in place. The ABL system is designed to find, track, and destroy an enemy target in the air and on the ground. It can loiter at 40,000 feet for five hours, refuel in mid-air, and destroy a target 60 miles away in less than a second. So in the future, it will not be aircraft in a dogfight. It will be aircraft at a distance being brought down by laser beams. The Airborne Laser Project was launched in 1996 at a cost of over one and a half billion dollars. The weapon is projected to be combat ready by 2015. There's also the fear that it could trigger a super high-tech arms race. Today, with lasers installed in virtually everything we use, from computers to CD players to video game systems, how long until our enemies have access to cheap, high-powered laser weapons? In the era of energy weapons, we're almost certainly going to see exactly the same kind of arms race that we've seen with nuclear weapons and with other kind of weapons before them. The fact is that if the United States develops powerful lasers, other nations will develop powerful lasers. 